my, my official title is uh, Odain Curator of Indigenous Art at the National Gallery of Canada. And it's a name title. So uh, that my position is named after Michael O'Dane, who is one of our most important philanthropists, art philanthropists in, in Canada. We're very fortunate to have him uh, in this country and, uh, and obviously very fortunate to benefit from directly from his support uh, for art, for specifically for Indigenous art at the National Gallery. What is it like to curate the National Gallery? It is an incredible privilege, um, and it's also really great. Uh, we've been able to build up a collection, I think, of, uh, of fantastic works, in, in especially in the last little while. Um, and, and that is, uh, just being able to do that is, is so amazing. Uh, to, to have that kind of a direct impact not only maybe on, on, on a living artist's life, uh, but also to know that you're part of constructing how the art is going to be represented for future generations, uh, because those works are in this collection and they're gonna stay there you know, forever, whatever that means. Um, so, so it's amazing. You have to cut me some slack, maybe, because I'm going to say Carl Beam. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is, like, when, when one of his largest painting in the show is called Time Warp, and he has this very curious phrase at the end of the work. You may not know that Carl, unfortunately, did pass away in 2005. But that painting that he painted in 1984, um, at the extreme right side of it, he signs his name, and he wrote, Carl Beam still lives. And that, that just sent me a shiver again, and it does when, whenever I read it, because it, it's so true that, uh, that, that he does, you know, his persona, his energy is captured in these works, and in many ways, uh, he does still live, and, he's, and he is still here. So um, I would have my dinner right here with Carl. <laughs>